Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel and in today's video we are going to talk about activity lock plugin, why it is important and why you should use on your WordPress website to track changes on your website. So let's start with the basic what is an activity lock plugin. So activity lock plugin basically is a tool that will help you monitor your changes or any changes on your WordPress website like whether you changed a plugin, whether you change any settings on your WordPress website or you have removed a post, edit a post or you have approved a comment or any changes on your WordPress website, activity lock plugin tracks of it. So it's like a history for your WordPress activity. So if you are running a multi-author website or e-commerce store or you are just curious about the changes or what's going on behind the scene in WordPress, then you should try this activity lock plugin. So there are various activity plugin out there for WordPress, but I will show you which one is the best and which one you should use on your WordPress website. So let's get started. And before that, my name is Obsek Padi. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard and check which plugin gives better data and which plugin you should use on your WordPress website. So let me click on dashboard here. And here I have installed a few of the activity plugins. So let me go to plugins and let me click on active plugins here. And here we have activity log plugin by activity log team. And then we have simple history plugin by par thunderstorm. And we have WP activity log plugin by Mela press. So if you want to install any of the plugin, then you can simply click on add new. And you can simply search for activity and here you here is the wp activity log plugin and here we have activity log by activity log team and here we have simple history plugin so i prefer to use this plugin simple history so it will gives you simple data and it will best for most of the users but if you want some advanced settings then you can also consider the wp activity log plugin so we will check which plugins gives better data so as you can see that we have the activity log plugin from this plugin activity log monitor record user changes and we have wp activity log plugin here and we have simple history plugin which you will see under the dashboard simple history plugin so let me first go to the simple history plugin and show you the data how it presents the data how it will show you the activity log so as you can see that it will show the username which user make the changes and the time of the activity and here you can see this post is goes to trash and then we have activated a plugin called WP activity lock and then we have installed this plugin we have deactivated this plugin and we have approved a comment here and we have changed the theme customizer settings so here you will see a data like this and if you go to the dashboard then also you will see the simple history activity log here. So as you can see all these activities are shown here in the dashboard as well or you can go to the simple history under the dashboard tab here. Now let's go to the activity log plugin and this is how the activity log plugin work. So as you can see it will show you an overall idea about the changes like the user that make the changes IP address and it shows the topic so you can click on post and see the activity regarding post updates post changes category added or anything related to post and you can see plugins so you can see the which plugin is activated which plugin is deactivated or which plugin changes on your website so you can see on the plugin changes here so similarly you can see activity related to comments and here you can see the context and you can see the meta here so you will get basic idea about the activity but this plugin doesn't give the full picture of the activity and then we have wp activity log so let's click on that as well and here you will see a data like this so you can see the severity and you can see the user that has changed the settings and you can see the topic like whether it is related to post or it is related to cron job so it will give you more advanced activity log like what is behind the scene the processes are running behind the scene so you can see all the cron jobs are showing up here as well so here we have deleted a post and it has shown 
this post is deleted or moved to trash and you can click on more details and it will show you more details about the activity like this is the url where the changes happened and this is the post date post title post url and this is the object like post and you can see the user that changed this or that performed the activity so you can see a detailed overview of the activity which was missing in the activity log plugin so here you will get a basic idea so we should not use this plugin so let me first deactivate this plugin and let's compare the rest two plugin so this plugin activity locked in so i prefer to deactivate it now let's go to the active plugin here and we have simple history plugin and wp activity lock plugin so let's perform some tasks on our wordpress website and check how this data is presented in the activity log so let me go to the user section here and let me create a new user all right i have added a user here now let's go to the comments and let me delete this comment now let's go to the plugins and let me deactivate some of the plugins here now let's go to the theme and let me go to the wizard section here and let me delete this wizard recent post let's update it now let's go to the theme customizer let me add some additional css here let's publish it now let's click on color and let's click on typography and let me change the typography here now let's publish it all right we have made some changes on our website and let's check if the activity log plugin tracks these changes on our wordpress website so let's first go to the wp activity log plugin all right here as you can see that we have make changes to the home page and we have deactivated the wp code light plugin and we have deleted a comment we have created a new user so which, this is the username this is the role of the user and you can see first name and the last name and you can click on user profile page to directly go to that user profile and now let's click on the simple history plugin and check what this plugin track and how it track the user activity so you can see it has tracked that we have changed the font of our website which is not tracked by wp activity log but simple history plugin tracks that we have changed the font on our website and we have updated custom css in cadence so it has also tracked but wp activity log doesn't track that we have added a custom css on our wordpress website it also says that this is the custom css that is being added to our wordpress website so that is why i recommend you to use the simple history plugin because it gives you more data and gives you the accurate data and gives you each and every activity that you perform on your wordpress website so this is going to be very helpful if you have multiple authors editors or admins or if you are running an e-commerce store then this plugin can help you a lot so you can see who did what and when and you can also revert it back if you make any changes or if any plugin is causing issue you can easily track that by using this activity log plugin so i definitely recommend you should use simple history or you can use wp activity log plugin as well so let me know which plugin you are using and whether you are using a activity log plugin on your wordpress website or not and if you found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing our channel for more videos like this and i will see you in the next one thank you bye bye